Our defensive player of the game, number 33 from Yililani High School, Kate K. Adelo. Good game, good game. And now for your offensive player of the game for the West team. Number seven from Campbell High School, Isaac Herr. Quick as you can. Special teams player of the game, number 22 from Collar Hill, McKenna Johnston. Your defensive player of the game, number 92 from Farrington, Mochi <laughs> And your offensive player of the game, number 9 from St. Louis, Devin Stubblefield. <laughs> Congratulations to all our players of the game. Once again, a big mark. I'm helping Jerry with his story. He said, make sure you talk to Devin. I can't say it. <laughs> To put a wrap to the 2013 football season. So, uh, you know, did, you guys practice for only a week. Then you come here and it's rainy. And it's like, yeah. what are you thinking? Well, we all just came out ready to play. So, I mean, Coach, Coach Martinez, he was like, we got to bring it back for the East. And, I mean, sure enough, we came out here and took care of business. <laughs> did the rain kind of have you thinking, you know what, we might not be throwing that well today? Nah, not really. I mean, we saw the lightning in the beginning of the game. We were kind of like, oh, what's going to happen? Yeah. Yeah. It played out well, and we came up. We did you know, if this, if this was the old mud, then it would yeah, suck. But you guys are fine. Guarantee. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the two touchdown pe catches, yes, both from Noah Brum. Yes. The first one. Describe the first one. First one. Uh, I just saw. Well, I was supposed to run a shorter route, and I saw the coverage, and I was like, "Well, let's go and take a shot." And sure enough, took a shot. <laughs> You guys were in the same yeah, yeah. mind mill. And then what happened on the second touchdown? Second one, oh, that was in the goal line. Yeah, I just told him, hey, let's go and make a play. And sure enough, we made a play. Yeah, I mean, we talk whenever the plays, I mean, if it's big downs, I'll say, oh, Look, yeah. check this side, check this side, or I'll look and say, oh, big down, big down right here. Let's go make a play. Well, he used to be at St. Louis. Were you there when he was at St. Yeah, Louis? Yeah, I was there, yes, sir. His first two years? Yes, sir. Did you guys throw the ball to each other? Uh, Not really. Brum wasn't the starting quarterback when I was there, so I never really got too many looks with him. He knew what to do with you, though. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> now, Tui didn't play today. Yeah. And he was he was supposed to play for the West. Yeah. His injuries or whatever. Yeah. What do you think about next year when he's at UH and you're at UH? Oh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be excited for that one. I mean, he can throw the ball, no doubt, and he's a smart pass passer. And <laughs> shoot, hey, my boy, Bro, you stop. Yeah. Hey, you put the touchdown. Oh, I see you, though. But yeah, I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll love to take some passes from him next year. And I think he can go out and take that starting job. I don't know, as a freshman, maybe. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll yes, see. Sir. Nice Thank work. You. Nice work, Devin Stolfield. Yes, sir. Well, you were, you were having fun out there. What was the best thing about today's game? Uh, just playing with all these awesome athletes on the east side and just having fun with them. Yeah. Yeah. 
content and just having fun with these guys. <laughs> you got most of your snaps on D. Not too much at quarterback. You had like one or two snaps at quarterback. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was all right. You know, just having fun. Coaches just put me in and just told me what I had to do and I just tried to listen and focus on what I had to do. <laughs> all right, man. Congrats. What's the plan though? Uh, I don't know yet. Still debating on where. Well, I'm getting to it. I don't know yet. Still gotta qualify? Yeah. yeah. And then, um, I think you, you told me earlier today, right? There's your friend. There's your friend. Jeremy. Oh, gee. He's going to Eastern Arizona. So, that's a good place to be. There's a lot of Hawaii guys, a lot of history of Hawaii guys. So, that's an option, right? Yeah. What, what's your ultimate goal? Like, once you get to the JC, I mean, do you have a goal of playing? Oh, I want to play in the Pac-12, or I want to play for UH. What do you, yeah, how do you like, look at it? Uh, UH or the Pac-12, I'm really looking forward to the Pac-12. Just having fun with those guys. And just always wanted to play out of state. Jeremy, you have fun today? Uh, yeah, I did. I had a lot you did most of your work on defense today, huh? Yeah. What do you think of the East defense? I think the East defense was really stacked. Like, it was like a college defense. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was good. Uh, but you know, but but of course, you know, Tui didn't see. He didn't suit up. Yeah. That would have been a great test. Yeah, it would have. But you know, East was ready. We came out. We did what we had to do. Yeah. And it was a privilege playing with all these uh, East Side boys. It was really fun. And I hope to you know, play with them again. Yeah. Eastern Arizona. Western. Western Arizona. Arizona. My bad. All right, man. Thank you. Do you think? Yeah. Are you, how you doing, man? You have fun? Yeah. You know, St. Louis season, I felt bad for you guys because, yeah, as a fan, I just want to see you guys to put on one more time. Yeah. That's just as a fan. <laughs> and the season was so short this year, so. But then this kind of made up for it a little bit, right? Oh, yeah. Bring, I brought back the feeling. I mean, I didn't think the feeling left at all, but being out on this field was, was just great to do it one last time. So let's go back in time, right? This is your life. Yeah. Uh, was it sophomore or junior you got hurt? Sophomore year, yes. It was pretty serious. Oh, yeah. What was that like coming back from that? Um, if you see my shirts, I mean, my shirt says face at, uh, play, um, adversity is my playground. I mean, you know, I had to face a lot of adversities coming into it, and I mean, if it wasn't for the help of my family, you know, my teammates bringing me back, I wouldn't have came back as strong as I did. But it was definitely a rocky road, but I had to overcome those adversities that I had to face. They say it takes two years to get the, the spring and the explosion back. Yeah. Is that what it felt like? It's been two years since then, right? Oh, definitely, but I think... I think with the help I got from Coach Padericki and Dr. Orishi, I mean, they, they really helped me to get the explosiveness back real quick. So, I mean, really, really uh, brought me back to being the player that I once was. So, what's the plan now? UH? University of Nevada, Reno. Oh, Nevada, that's right. <laughs> Did you get other offers? Um, I had uh, Eastern Washington, uh, Weber State, uh, Portland State, a lot of D1AA's, but... I don't know, Nevada Reno is definitely number one. So they were the only D1 school to really take you serious? Yeah, they had other interests from Hawaii and San Jose State. But they didn't want to commit to they you? They didn't want to commit, but... So they're looking at you as a safety? Um, more the rover type. Yeah. They're running the rover type, so they're so be playing in the box. So a little bit of linebacker tendencies. Yeah. You're going to bulk up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> play with the big boys. All right, congratulations, man. Thank you. Oh, gosh, UH going to have to play you. <laughs> oh, boy.